Okay, so the engine's here with the TR8. Must mean it's time to be fitted. Those vigilant amongst you will notice a couple of things. Firstly, we've stripped the engine just down a little bit, taken the ignition leads off and also the water pump. Just gives us a little bit of extra room to play within, uh, to put the engine in the engine bay. Secondly, new zip. The old one broke, sent the picture to mum, new zip fitted. Nice one. So, um, engine bay first, because Steve's been doing some touching up in there. So the subframe here had a few chips on it, the customer supplied us some paint uh, so it's all nicely matched and uh, you can see in here we've had a couple of coats so everything's looking lovely. Not that anyone's really going to see it but us and the customer will know that it was chipped and now it isn't. So uh, without further ado I think we can start to uh, jack the engine up. Well done Steve. Ready? Yeah. All good? For this bit. So um, the engine's pretty much in place, obviously you just got to get the input shaft into the uh, back of the crank. So uh, we'll leave the boys to just do a little bit of wiggling around there. Um, Steve, what, what are these? Ah, this is motivation. Oh, okay. When the engine's in, I get a boost. Okay. Ignition, car, exhaust, fluids, test drive. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, so... Um, Looks like Steve's been quite busy with the TR8. I think he's bolted quite a few bits on. Uh, let's take a look and see how he's getting on. Um, the first thing I noticed, Steve, you've been really busy. Yep, distributors fitted, leads, no, boats. No, you've eaten lots of chocolate. Yeah, I know. Small reward. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, yeah, you've got the water pump on, the pulleys, yep, belts on there. Ignition. On. Full ignition system, A&R yeah. amplifier, Bosch coil. Full stems, exhaust have been refitted. Excellent. And everything was cleaned up under there yes. as well, yes. wasn't it? So that's cool. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, next is to uh, fit this little beauty. Excellent. So Steve's now going to fit the carburetor up. Um, we've also got a facet red top that you saw earlier that's going to be bolted underneath. And uh, we should be then pretty much ready for the first uh, fire up, I believe, once we've got fluids in. So I reckon we'll come back when he's eating some more chocolate. Okay, so, um, looks fairly complete, Steve, yeah, most does. of the chocolate's gone. It has, yes. And then test drive, so we're going to have to wait for a bit of a drier day for that, I think. But, um, this is genuinely the first time we've fired up, so I'm going to be on the throttle and the distributor. We cold. build all of our... Sorry? So the headers are cold. The headers are cold, yeah. <laughs> so it's all cold down there. Um, we build all our engines on TDC with the rotor arm pointing at number one, so we shouldn't be too far off on the timing. Uh, we've just primed it with fuel, so we've got fuel in the float bowl. We've given the accelerator a, a couple of pumps just to spurt a bit of fuel in, so uh, let's see what happens. A bit more advanced. One, two turns out on the mixture screws. So our engines prime up the tablets quite quickly because when Holly builds them, he actually primes all of the oil galleries with oil. So he'll assemble it with the oil filter on, full of oil obviously. The oil pump will be primed with grease or Vaseline. 
and then from the cylinder heads, he'll pump oil down the oil galleries and the tappets into the oil, oil galleries for the tappets all that are quite broad as well ready. So I think um, you can do a setup on that now. We'll do timing, COs and hydrocarbons, make sure everything's uh, circulating properly on the coolant, and then uh, wait for a dry day. Excellent. Cool. I think that'll uh, conclude this video. We'll see you next time.